hi everybody welcome back if you're new to my channel i am samia and my youtube channel is a lifestyle channel it is about everything and anything about me so guys if you're watching this video this is my 11th video on youtube yes and i'm so excited because you know content creation is very very hard and then it is difficult knowing what your viewers will like I noticed that you guys like my story time, you like my pranks, you like my vlogs, yeah. And so it is actually difficult creating a content that I think you guys will like. So anyway guys, to cut the long story short, I'm saying this because I am here today to just my YouTube family about what happened to me today. It's more like a story time and it is also a gist. It's not going to be very long, just what happened to me today. So let's get into the video. all right guys so because of youtube i have been making conscious efforts to make my hair more often different styles i don't bore you with just my straight weave or any other wig so i've been making conscious efforts to you know look good because at the least i can do is to save you nice hair nice weaves nice styles because i don't use makeup yeah so guys i decided yesterday or the since like the beginning of this week i decided i was going to make a new hairstyle so I loosened my braid, yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing a wig now. So I was going to make a new hairstyle, ponytail. Yeah, that's one of the trending hairstyles now. So yeah, you guys, this is what the hairstyle I want to do. This is what it look. I wanted to do rather. This is what it looks like. And so I already checked online for a place I wanted to do my, my hair. I'm using past tense because I'm no longer doing the hair. <laughs> so I wanted to make my hair at this particular place. It's a popular place on instagram i'm always mentioning their names very nice place they make very mad styles mad ponytails yeah they are the orgasm of ponytails actually so i decided i was going to make my hair with them and i texted them i dm'd them on instagram yes and they replied me and i was like hello good evening blah blah, blah. i want to make my hair how much does it cost to do a ponytail and they were like 10k so because i am in lagos 10k is actually not bad to make ponytails or to make my hair especially on the island because i am in lagos because if i'm not in lagos i will not make my ponytail for 10k because to me that's actually plenty for someone that how much am i earning you know so 10k is actually plenty for me but then because i'm in lagos and because i really want to do this for you guys and my youtube wants to look nice i was like i was going to do it but now the problem is i do not have a weave to use as you know the extension yeah you get because weaves are actually very expensive. So I texted some vendors online. I was like, how much is weaves for ponytail? And then they kept on saying like 70K, 80K, which is actually the price of a, of a wig, you know? So I just thought to myself that, instead of buying a ponytail for 70K, why not just buy a wig for 80K, 90K? At most, most, most 100K. And then I would not fix into a wig. I would force it for my ponytail and then, when I'm done, I'll remove it and then fix my wig. That was my plan. But then I said to my okay, um, vendors were not really coming through for me. They're just giving me different nonsense styles and then asking for ridiculous prices. So I said, okay, let me just go to this place. I texted them the way I wanted to make fix my hair. I texted them and they said, yeah, they sell weaves for ponytails and they also sell wigs. So yeah, I booked my appointment and then I went there today yes so when i got there i was feeling myself hey but you're going to look like a baby girl today hey hey i'm so happy yo. so i entered their salon and i was like oh, good afternoon i booked an appointment with you guys for so 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 and so time they checked they confirmed me nice this thing they offered me sweet and all i was feeling myself ah, this is nice so so i said we already had a conversation earlier via instagram dm and so they knew what i wanted they knew i was going to check out weaves and wigs so when i got there i was like okay can i see your wigs now and like she also the receptionist one very pretty lady by the way she she um directed me towards where the wigs were so i was like okay, can i check the price she was like yeah you can check on the wig and so i just dragged down the tag and i saw the price of the wig <laughs> You guys, first of all, if I tell you how much it was, thank God I was wearing my face mask. 
So now the price was four hundred and ninety six thousand. Then they put you know all these people that like to form nine 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 behind. I don't know why they cannot just round it up to one thousand. I say four hundred and ninety seven thousand naira. But it was four hundred and ninety six thousand nine hundred and ninety nine naira. <sighs> when I saw it, my body shook. <laughs> Four hundred and what? My mind, I'm like, okay, how much is my phone? I used an eleven pro. I don't think my eleven pro is up to four hundred and ninety six thousand naira. Now they're ninety nine naira. Then I wore a jersey and a joggers and uh, what's it called? And uh, what's this thing called? Slides. If so, that means if you said the whole of me, you will not get. I wasn't wearing a wig. I was. I packed my hair because I was going to make another one. So my point, I was thinking to myself that if these people sell me, I cannot still buy this week. Am I buying a plot of land? So before I continue, do you think four hundred and ninety six thousand naira now five hundred thousand naira week? Do you think it's too much to put on your head? Because I used to be of the opinion that ah, I can never buy hundred thousand naira week. God forbid. But then I just realized that because I was poor, because I was broke, I could not afford it. So I felt like hundred thousand naira week uh, was too expensive. Because right now I can actually. If I want to buy a wig, I'll actually go for like 70, 80, 90 because these wigs actually last for long. The ones I bought in the past, I've been using them for like two, three years. While the ones I got for like 30 k and I thought that, that was better than buying, that, that was wiser. They actually spot like after not up to a year, they would start becoming spongier. Or oh, while the ones I got as very expensive prices i'm seizing them to date so do you think even if you have the money do you think buying 400 500 000 naira hair is too expensive i don't know maybe when i have the money maybe i'll feel like ah i don't even know i don't even know what to think because when i saw it i was the one in that situation and then so um i didn't even know what to think i didn't even think about is it worth it or not because people actually buy it, those kind of hair and that's because they can afford it because if they cannot afford it they will not buy it in the first place so what do you think do you think that Buying um five hundred thousand naira a week, placing it on your head, whether you're brilliant or not, because I know some guys be like, our girls are putting so so and so thousand naira a week on your head, and they don't have anything in their head. That's your business. Duh. Anyway, do you think it is? It makes sense putting such amount of this thing on your head, if when you can afford this, of course, not when you don't have money and then you're buying five hundred thousand naira hair for what? So yeah, as I was saying, I. Was when my face mask here, so my expression was hidden. So I'm not like, ah, is this all you have? I don't really like these wigs. <laughs> Bro, you can't afford it. I said, I don't really like these wigs. Do you, do you have more? In my mind, I was like, God, please, this should not have more because they have more. That's the end. I have to keep, I'll be stopping and I'll be like, oh, this all fits you. You can try it on. So I'm just praying, that God, please. So she's not like, oh, this will be out for now that they will text me when they have more wigs and if i want a kind of weave a kind of wig rather they can i can send them a picture and they would actually make it for me so i was like oh of course she was not like so are you not making the ponytail that we sell extensions for ponytail so i was like okay let me ask how much she was like um like 12 inches right i wanted 22 inches i think 22 inches is as is as long as this hair I can't remember, I think it was 20 inches, so like 22 inches. Oh, I just I destroyed my hair. <laughs> so she was like, um I wanted 22 inches here for my ponytail, so it's going to be like, you know, down and all. Then she said um 12 inches. Ha. Huh. Do you know what 12 inches is? 12 inches is like here. That means my ponytail just reaching here. Anyway, she said 12 inches. So I was like okay because i cannot even talk about 22 inches right now so i said 12 inches yeah that's fine she was like you need like two, bu two bundles and that will be like around 150,000 naira <laughs> i said uh, this woman that's me i was talking about myself you don't walk up past your your level because i can't afford 150,000 for just ponytail no closure no nothing and then I was even thinking to myself that I was going to buy a wig. It wasn't going to be more than 100,000 naira. Top of ponytail. So I was like, oh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I said, oh, that's not bad. All this I was still, I was my face mask. I was like, thank God. Because if she sees me tomorrow, she'll never know it is me. So I was like, that's not bad. That 
um i actually have uh, my own extension at home that uh, i should have brought it because it's not going to worth it buying new weaves when i actually have enough at home that uh, i think because i wasted their time while i was booking appointment and everything so i'll not come and be like i cannot afford it it's so embarrassing so i just said that and i was like she was like oh should i become an appointment for you I said these people leave me alone. I was like, you know what? I'm going to text you when I am ready for another appointment. Don't worry, because I'm a very busy person. Busy in book. I am always sleeping because I don't have a job for now. Coronavirus is not going to make me have a job yet. So I'm always sleeping and waking up. And I was like, I'm usually very busy. So I don't know when I'm going to be free. I'm going to text you and book an appointment. I was speaking English. Hey <laughs> God, my leg, my leg, my mind. I was like, and see, just pack your load and leave. Go to your house because you're broke, sis. You are broke. <laughs> so yeah, um, I left. I went to my house, JJ, my mm -hmm. YouTube family. I am not going to make my hair until God knows when. I don't even have the money. I'm not even ginger. I'm going to save my hundred k. I need it for something better because sis is broke. So you guys, patient has said to show themselves. So I'm just going to use my ring light. Managed my outro. So this is my outro. Let me just sum up. So you guys will. This, when I was at the salon, in my mind, I was like, God, when? When will I be able to afford this kind of week? Eh? I don't know when, but I hope very soon. So, guys, this will be the end of my gist. Gist with Samia. <laughs> so, this is going to be the end of my gist. Um, I hope you enjoyed my gist. And I hope that someday soon I'll be able to afford that kind of week. And I hope that... Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Please like my video, please share with your friends, please engage my comment section and thank you for supporting me, keep supporting me and let's build a family together. Thank you guys, I love you, see you in my next video.